Hello, my name is Dr. Tochi Okuwasa. I'm a cardiologist at Rush University Medical Center, and I'm on this platform with Zibralta Medical, dedicated to building the community one child at a time. Cardiology is a study of heart disease, and my focus is heart disease in cancer patients. And this end, what we do is we take care of cancer patients that have received different types of treatments, whether it be chemotherapy, radiation therapy, immunotherapy, and um, make sure that we take care of their hearts during this process because heart disease is the leading cause of death in cancer patients and also in people in the United States. One of the people that I know, um, people, senior people in medicine that have really influenced me and influenced my career and the way I think about medicine is Dr. Skip Garcia. Um, when I was uh, doing my residency training at University of Chicago, I was really the only um, black person amongst a group of 90 residents um, in that uh, institution, 90 internal medicine residents in that institution, 30 residents per year. And Dr. Skip Garcia was a, a new chair of internal medicine who saw me as you know one among many um, within the program, um, given my skin color, and actually called me aside to ask me how I was doing. I was fine, you know, I was going through residency, the rigors of medicine, and um, surviving and doing well, um, but he, after I met with him, about two weeks later, I received an invitation to present at Grand Rounds. And I really wondered what it was all about, but it turns out he wanted me to present on health disparities. And, you know, I was given good lead time, six months to prepare for it. But in the process of preparing, I began to realize why he wanted me to do it. When I um, went in to present on health disparities, it just the study, just the, the papers I had to look at, just the, the research I had to do to be able to make this presentation opened my eyes a lot to issues in medicine, issues in disparities, the reason why African-American patients think the way they do, the reason why they're so distrustful of medicine from the study of Tuskegee to the eugenics movement to a whole lot of other things where they feel like they've been made guinea pig pigs. And so I, I really did understand what it was all about, the reason why health disparities is a major issue in medicine and a major issue that we all should make ourselves champion one way or the other and also mentor other people to champion as well. There are very few black cardiologists within the United States, less than 2% of cardiologists within the United States are black or African American and there are also very few women cardiologists within the United States, less than 20% of cardiologists within the United States are women. So a uh, female cardiologist within the United States is definitely in the minority. For me as a cardiologist, as a female cardiologist and a mom, um, work finding a work-life balance, finding a good balance is very important. And so some of the things that one does to balance work and life um, is to outsource a lot of the other things like maybe have an annual babysitter to take care of the kids, um, maybe have a sort of driver to drive the kids from one place to the other, um, there, and, and maybe have somebody who cleans the home. Um, you can also um, uh, uh, rely on friends and neighbors as well, um, having a community of people around you that are vested in your interest and you're also vested in theirs. When they can, they help you take care of certain things, and when you can, you also help them take care of certain things as well. Um, so basically, using leaning on the community also helps. Cardiology is a lot of hard work. Um, I think that the hours are long. Um, there's no doubt about that. And I think that cardiology is very involved. Basically, if you're, um, if you have a mathematical mind, A plus B equals C, and you have a logical mind, you can do cardiology. Um, I believe anyone can do cardiology, but I think the hours do put people away. And also, cardiology is very competitive to get into because people believe cardiologists are top earners, although there is a lot of work involved in it. Um, so basically, I think that anybody who's hardworking, anybody who's dedicated, anybody who is um, dedicated, and when I say dedicated to cardiology, but also dedicated to their patients, to just loving patients and wanting to take care of patients and wanting to stamp out heart disease, can do cardiology. So we definitely would love to see more female um, black or African-American cardiologists within the field of cardiology. We do have a lot of female black patients within cardiology, so why not have female black cardiologists taking care of them?